trying to stop any progress that we might have with the Palestinians. And we really would like to have a progress with the Palestinians. We are still asking the President of the Palestinian Authority, Mr. Mahmoud Abbas, to take a courageous decision, a strategic one, to resume the negotiations with Israel. The time has come to take a real move toward resuming the negotiations, and the sooner, the better. There is no time to waste. We are asking him from day first to come and to negotiate with us. Unfortunately, he is not willing to do so. We are asking him to negotiate on two tracks in parallel, politically and economically. He has some concerns that if he will negotiate with us economically, it might enable us to abandon the political dialogue. But who would like to have it in the problem? I am as a Minister of Regional Development and Cooperation is trying very hard these days to ease the life of the Palestinians. We are implementing three pro few projects within the Palestinian territory in order to make a progress in their economy. And the outcome is very, very positive. While the whole world is facing a real crisis in its economy, the growth is negative or close to zero. The Palestinian growth in 2009 is about 8%, a huge number. That shows us that it can be different. We are implementing these days Project S, Industrial Zone in Bethlehem, Industrial Zone in Jenin, Agriculture Project in Jericho. Only two weeks ago, we opened a new vehicle crossing that will enable Israeli Arabs to move from the Israeli side to the Palestinian side. And every day we can have 500 to 700 cars that are moving from one side to another. Every Saturday, 7,000 Israeli Arabs are shopping in Nablus and they are asking now to make the same in Ramallah. We would like to do much more, but unfortunately we are still doing it through mediators, like Prime Minister Blair, that is a special envoy of the Quartet of the Middle East. It could have been much easier they will take the decision to come and negotiate. We are asking them for too long. They still believe that they can sit aside and others will bring more and more concessions from the Israeli side. Or they are really afraid that if they will resume the negotiations, they might be asked or forced to have concessions of their own. But if you would like me to find out if the new Israeli government is committed to move toward peace, you should resume the battle. Otherwise, both sides won't be able to take a real move and to end the conflict. Many, many conditions were put in front of the Israeli Prime Minister and their government. Those demands were never being put in front of Prime Minister Barak, or Prime Minister Sharon, or Prime Minister Omer. And he didn't prevent them from offering very generous proposals and offers to the Palestinians. I think that the time is too short. The time is too short, and all of us should be more determined to take a real move toward peace.